Hey, welcome everybody. I'm happy you're here today. Are you happy you're here today? Yeah! Again, every two weeks I look forward to coming here. You know, this is the point in the show where I get to give a little bit of education. I try to, I hope that I can resonate and give you something new, something insightful, something you haven't thought about or maybe just need to be reminded of, because I think a lot of times we need to be reminded of concepts, ideas, techniques that we know, but we just may have forgotten about, that we just have to be prompted to, to use. So you know, for me, it's, it's a lot about what can you say no to, to make you more effective, right? That's the, the show today. What can you say no to, to make you more effective? And I think in our nature, it's hard to say no. It's hard to say no. We are people who like to please. Someone comes to me with a problem, I want to fix the problem. When something happens in my business, I want to take care of it. Right? We all think we can do everything. Why not? We're entrepreneurs, we're business people, we're smart, we're intelligent, we're focused. I can do it all, but is it effective? Is it effective for you? Are you going and succeeding and reaching places because you're doing too much? Or can you take away from what you're doing and even go further? And I think that's the point. I think we have to be able to say no. I think we have to be able to do other things, what we're most effective at and most successful at. When you look at your day, how are your time management skills? When you look at your day, what are you most effective at doing? Actually, do you even keep score? Do you even know what you're doing? from hour to hour, day to day, week to week? Again, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I know for myself, I will not go to bed until I have a list of what I'm doing the next day. I will not go to bed. Why? Because I wanna wake up in the morning knowing exactly what I'm gonna be doing where I'm going to be heading that day, what's important for that day. Do you go to bed worrying about what you have to do the next day? Do you sometimes sit in bed going, all right, I need to do this, I need to do that, I have to do this? Or are you prepared when you wake up in the morning? I think it's important. And also, do you keep score? Again, I'm gonna bring that up, do you keep score? Do you know what you did for that day? Do you actually keep a log? Last year I went to a training and it was about keeping score. It was about keeping track of what you do during the course of your day. And I listened to the speaker and I decided to follow that idea. From when you wake up first thing in the morning to when you go to bed, keep track of every event that occurred during that day and do it for a couple of weeks. I did. At the beginning of the week, on a Sunday, put in all the appointments you have, put all the meetings you have in there, put in the lunch dates, put in the TV time, put in the gym if you like to work at a certain, work out at a certain time, put that in. And then all of a sudden you're gonna see blocks of time that you have to fill. How are you going to fill those blocks of time? What are you going to do? How are you going to be effective? For me, I was shocked. I used a weekly plan sheet. And these are available at Contact Great Day TV. Contact us if you'd like to get one. And I learned the concept of, I, used, I call it the stoplight concept, the traffic light concept. Red time, yellow time, and green time. Now what's green time? Green time is when you're actually making money, when you're actually on an appointment that's generating income. Now think of the past week. 
How many appointments did you have that generated any cash to check? How many times did you cash a check last week? That's where we want to be because that's where we make our income. We want to be in green time. Now here, we're here today, what is this? This I would consider yellow time. Yellow time's important. Yellow time's very important. It leads to green time. It's the networking that we get involved with. It's the meeting for, with people to try to meet other people to get business. Is it effective? Is yellow time effective? Yes, we need yellow time. But I want to turn my yellow time into green time. Now what's red time? Well, we all have red time. We all have red time. It's the time you wake up in the morning. You wake up at 7 a.m., put down, 7 a.m., woke up, showered, ate breakfast, to 8 o'clock. Maybe that's from 7 to 8. From 8 to 8.30 or 8 to 9, went on my computer, answered emails. Write down who you answered, what you said, keep a log. Nine o'clock rolls around. Now what are you doing? Well, I'm going to a networking event at 9.30. It takes me a half hour. Put it down, I drove a half hour. From 9.30 to 11, I was at this networking event. Put it down, where was it? 11.30 to 12.30, I spoke with someone I met there. Put it in there. At the end of that day, Look at it, what kind of time was it? A lot of people are busy. Boy, what an exhausting day I had. I got so much done. But was it productive? Oh, of course it was productive. I filed, I cleaned my refrigerator. I got to make some phone calls to people I haven't talked to in a while. But is that leading to income? How about have you ever thought to yourself that, you know, where, where did the day, the day just flew by? The day just flew by. Where did it go? Where did it go? Did you keep track? Do you know where it went? I dare say not. I dare say not. So I recommend that you keep track of a week. Start the process, start seeing. You're gonna be surprised at how much free time you have because it's all about time management. It is about time management. And the more we can focus at getting on to green time, our money-making time, we're gonna be more successful and less busy. We can say no to the filing. You know, is it important that we file at 10 o'clock in the morning? Or should we be doing some business that's going to, to lead, making phone calls? Who here calls three people a day for business? Who here calls three, at least three people a day to let them know what you're doing? That's important. If you're doing that, if you're doing four or five, that's great. Three people a day, multiply that. Multiply that, there's 52 weeks in a year, five days in the week, 260 days times three. It's a lot of people that you can call. That's productive. Because remember, what you put out there, what you're searching for, what you're looking for, it's gonna come back to you. It is gonna come back to you. And if you have just busy work to do, how's that, what, what's gonna come back to you with busy work? You want to be a success. You need to put yourself out there. You need, to, you need to know what you've been doing so you can go where you want to go. Because if you don't know what you've done in the past, how are you going to get somewhere into the future that you want to get to? Anybody can do it. I do it. I'm sure many of you out here do it. But you have to want to do it. You have to want to succeed. So if anybody wants to get some more information on this, please contact myself, contact Randall through the website. 
And, we, and I hope that this gives you an idea of look back at what you've been doing, keep track, so you can succeed and move further in your life. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah.